Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our Like a Pro series. Last week we talked about the different types of masking tape and what each one is used for. Today we're going to talk about one of the tools that we use our masking tape on. It's the hand masker. We'll go through the different pieces of it, how to set it up, and why it could save you some time. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, these are the different pieces of a hand masker. This is gonna be your main piece right here. This is the handle. This is where we're gonna go ahead and load our tape and our paper and our blade. This is the blade itself. This is brand new, so uh, you can see the cover over the sharp blade. Make sure that you don't cut yourself with that. Roll of inch and a half tape. I'm gonna go ahead and use some 12 inch paper here. And this is a brand new piece that 3M came up with. It uh, holds the other end of your paper so that it's nice and straight and you don't end up bending the hand masker over time. So let's go ahead and show you guys how these are put together. All right, let's go ahead and put it together. So you're gonna grab your hand masker and your blade. What you need to know about your blade is that it has the different sizes right here of the tape that you're using. So. 48, 36, 24, and then the 18 millimeter. You're gonna take this little button and we're gonna line it up. We've got the 36 millimeter tape here, inch and a half blue. Go ahead and click that in. Now we're gonna load our tape. This is where it's gonna go through. Make sure that the sticky side is on the bottom. that all the way on there and make sure it goes through its own little tape path here and like I said we're gonna go ahead and use some 12 inch paper paper gets loaded onto this side make sure that the end is going out this little flap will just keep the pressure on it so we'll go ahead load the tape And you're ready to go. Like I said, 3M did just come out with this new piece here. It clicks in the exact same way as the other side does. There's a new hole there inside the blades for it. Then the end just pushes down and holds the other side of your tape. What this is gonna do is it's gonna make your tape roll a lot more sturdy. No more of the bending that we used to get whenever we would pull on the paper and tape to rip it. Just pull it out, pull back. get a nice clean cut. Now, as a DIY painter, you may be asking yourself, why would I even bother with a hand masker? Why wouldn't I just get down and tape off my baseboards and then use some drop cloths? Well, this is a much more efficient, much faster way to go ahead and mask off your baseboards, windows, anything like that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the two differences. So basically, if you've got a run of uh, line of tape across your baseboards, this is gonna go ahead and apply the tape right to the paper for you. Rip it off. Mask your line and you're good to go. Now, if I had to do that without the masker, The way I would do it is I would go ahead and take my tape, as it's sitting on there, it is just barely tacked at this edge, leaving this side free. Then I'd have to take my paper. Try to get it underneath of that and mask it. Now imagine doing that across an entire room and across an entire house. It's going to end up taking you a lot longer to do it this way. There are still times when you're going to have to do it by hand like this, uh, especially if you're masking windows that are panel and they just need to be 17 inches instead of 12. Things like that where you're going to get into little um, situations. 
but overall using a hand masker is gonna be the way to go if you're having to apply tape and paper at the same time. If you guys have any questions about this, go ahead and comment below. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and next week we'll bring you another how-to video on how to do things like a pro. Thanks guys. Hey, I almost forgot. If you guys are in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania or the Tampa Bay, Florida area, and you guys need to get some painting done, go ahead and give us a call at ImageWorks Painting. Uh, you can visit our website, www.imageworkspainting.com, or click on the link below in the description. Thanks guys.